So I decided to do a quick walkthrough of my area in Minecraft. This is in our, our private Minecraft server uh, that I run for my family and friends and such. And anyway, I just wanted to do, uh, kind of show off my area a little bit. Uh, of course, everyone has their own area that they have wandered off and uh, uh, you know built whatever they wanted to do. And this one is just mine. So we're going to enter. The entire area is walled off. And uh, it wasn't like that originally. It was all open. And, uh, well, I'll explain more once we get inside. So this is the only way in. Out, you can just go over the wall. You, know, you jump off the wall from the inside. And you'll see in a second. Uh, but to go in, you just enter the first door. And then you have, oh, another door here. And it's accessed through this computer right here. And <laughs> password so cleverly written on the wall here. It's just let me in. So you just basically come up to the computer, enter your password, and you're in. See so the lights light up. You got 10 seconds to get through. And give it a second here. It'll close back up. And here you are. You are in my area. As you can see, I pretty much uh, did a whole lot of landscaping. Uh, it started off basically with this building right here. This was my house, basically a giant freaking cube, um, and uh, it's you know changed a lot since I uh, started building here. Uh, but as you can see, it's all walled, and originally it was all open, and I traveled between all my structures as I built them underground uh, at night. But I got sick and tired of coming out here and constantly running into monsters, so I. Uh, decided to wall it all off and light the whole area uh, area up so the only thing they can get in here is uh, spiders and endermen and neither one of them are really much of a threat there's five or six golems uh, wandering around so anyway I guess we'll start the tour here don't want this to take too long it's kinda of boring uh, end of the house first floor you know, nothing special and you will notice computers. <laughs> That's the computer, monitor, disk drive, all around. That is because on this server uh, we do run uh, computer craft. And so you also notice in my inventory here, uh, if I hit the right button, mining turtle. And uh, this is because uh, turtles are a part of uh, this mod. And uh, you can, if you're interested in it, you can look it up. But uh, to see what it does, I'm not going to get into all that. And uh, second floor of the house, basically a little storage area. And we also run Minecraft Forge. Uh, basically, uh, real simple, put a block of lava underneath, which you can't see here. You'll be able to see it over there. Input chest, output chest. You want uh, smooth stone, you put cobblestone in this chest. You turn on the ovens, it'll cook it and output smooth stone to this chest you know and it works it saves coal <laughs> it's really nice uh, anyway and the roof I use uh, a lot of different uh, half blocks since nothing can spawn on them and uh, I just like the look anyway this is actually uh, a dragon travel uh, destination uh, we do have you know you can warp teleport whatever but we also have dragon travel uh, which is a really awesome mod it lets you travel from location to location uh, by flying on the back of you know the uh, ender dragons and it's a uh, really cool actually uh, but anyway I used to stand up here before it was all enclosed and lit up and I would stand up here and hunt monsters with my bow it was kinda of fun anyway go back down and we go into the basement this started off as just a viewing area again before it was all enclosed as you can see there's water here there's actually a lava pit that I put right there and I dug a one block wide uh, hole around my house and the, mo the mobs would fall in and you know die and I didn't have to worry about them waiting outside my door but this has all been blocked off now since I have golems it's all enclosed it's not needed anymore and I've converted this into my enchanting room here it is dragon egg up there and my uh, potion brewing area and yet another computer and yet <laughs> Uh, another hard drive over here. Uh, the, uh, 
disk drive. This is for uh, transferring programs to uh, turtles. But anyway, uh, this is actually set up as a repair station. It's another mod. Uh, it works really simple. I forgot exactly what it's called, but you can, uh, let's say you have a diamond sword. It's almost gone. You really like it. It's got some good enchantments on it. The, 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 the traditional Minecraft repair system, if you repair something, you lose the enchantments. With this one, you do not. So you basically take the item, you put it in there, and you put a diamond. You put the base material. So if it's a diamond sword, you put diamond. If it's iron, you use iron uh, ingots. And when you put the raw material and the sword, in this case, in here, you hit the button. It spits it out, uh, repairing it. You know, if it requires three diamonds each time, and will repair one third of its uh, health. And this goes down into all the tunnels, and that is goes down into some mines, which I'll get into later. All right, so let's get out of the house here. Go back outside. Okay, the wall, this entire wall, was built using a turtle, two of them actually and a program that was written by R. Viper. Basically, I had a pattern I wanted to follow, and he wrote a simple program uh, using the uh, turtles, uh, the computer craft, and we gave it the supplies, and it basically built it. Took a few hours to get done, but the end result was a really nice wall. We had to go back and touch it up. I could have did, uh, or had it build, an, an even wall, you know, where the height of the wall remained consistent around the whole area. However, I didn't want that. I didn't want the castle wall look. I wanted more of the Great Wall of China look, you know, where the wall actually follows the landform. So I left the outside landform natural, and I built up the inside landform and landscaped it to make it easier to traverse and make it look nicer. This is actually just a little house, a little area, completely enclosed uh, for some villagers. Uh, another mod that we run on the server allows you to capture passives in eggs, so you can capture animals. It's easier for going out, capturing animals, and bringing, uh, bringing them back to farms and such, instead of leading them halfway across you know, the world with wheat, <laughs> and which of course doesn't work with uh, 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 villagers. So, you can actually capture a villager in an egg, and someone decided to drop six villagers as a joke. Uh, my wife, I believe, in my area, and I hate villagers. I think they're quite annoying. So, but instead of killing them off, I gave them a little area to wander around and a golem to protect them. So, but anyway, that's why that's there. All right, so let's get on with this here. The uh, second thing I built was my farm, and it has expanded a lot. Not going to get too much into it, but uh, all of my buildings, you notice uh, most of them, except for this one, I haven't completed it yet. Cactus, and uh, with a little overhang. That is simply to stop spiders, you know. Good old stupid spiders, they go up there, they get stuck, and they kill themselves. Really nice. This originally had all of my animals in this little area here, and I have since changed it. I expanded it out, uh, chickens, so I can have a lot of eggs, primary food source, melons, uh, which is mined by a turtle, actually. I got my own little turtle here, another, uh, uh, if I get the program right, and it'll sit there and harvest my melons for me, and it'll come back and stop right here, and I can put them in the chest. And as we wander back over here, I'll let that turtle do its thing, get my eggs, and for my sheep, for wool, and a couple of cows because, well, I don't use leather armor. So I basically just need, you know, one guy for milk and these two for uh, mushroom stew, and that's it. And the turtle's done. And uh, I got them all segregated to make it easier uh, to maintain. But uh, this used to be the back wall. And you notice there's no doors uh, in my farm here. That is because, you know, the animals like to flock to doors when you open them and then they escape. So that's why I have went with the ladders like this. Because these animals cannot climb ladders, thank goodness. And uh, few, <laughs> I lose uh, less animals that way. So there we go, look at that. Collected them all. Then you just mine the turtle. Try not to step on anything. And then drop all that back in. 
There we go. Okay, and this leads down to the tunnels again. <laughs> like I said, that's how I used to travel around. You'll also notice in every building there's a computer terminal. And outside it's attached to a dispenser that's full of arrows. And basically this was before, like I said, it was all enclosed. You walk up, F, you know, 5. It will fire 5 arrows. Just kill the chicken. And that's basically, uh, if there was a mob waiting at the door, like a creeper, you just walk up to the terminal, hit F7, because it would take 7 ch you know, hits to kill it. And you would have a dead creeper. And you could just go out and collect your arrows and put them back in the dispenser. Worked out, uh, works pretty well. The next thing I needed was a lot of wood, so I built a tree farm. Let's use the two separate buildings here. And I just brought some jungle trees because, well, you get a lot more wood. Uh, this time the overhang it actually goes over the cactus because I don't want saplings and such, which, since these trees don't drop that many, to get destroyed. Uh, when they're this tall, uh, it falls and gets destroyed on the cactus. I didn't want that. Uh, then I needed arrows. Lots and lots of arrows. So, using silk touch, uh, you know, you could mine uh, uh, monster spawners. So, I brought back, actually, our viper brought me a skeleton spawner, which is up in this structure here, and it's just basically an above ground, simple uh, skeleton farm. There it goes. All the stuff comes out here. Arrows over here, bowing over there, and uh, back here, nether portal. I wanted it to look well, nethery. <laughs> I wanted it to actually look, you know. Uh, I always build up some type of structure around my nether portal, uh, just to you know make it look a little bit better. So, again, tunnel access. So that's why it looks the way it does. I like to you know, come up with different designs. This used to be all open. Uh, all the fire was exposed. Again, that way mobs would see you inside and they would walk up and very intelligently burn themselves alive on the fire. However, since I have enclosed the area and added golems, I don't want them killing themselves. So that's why we now have iron bars. Uh, this here is a blaze farm again acquired using silk touch and blazes do not drop any items unless they're killed by a player so at least they don't end this server I'm not exactly sure why if that's the way it's supposed to be but we set up a very easy way to oops <laughs> a very easy way to do this and uh, basically they spawn and there's a door right there which you run down here and that you can close that door to g safely go in here and pick up your drops and when you want to kill them you just open the door and there you go the water is here in case they set you on fire so you can put yourself let me see if I there we go put yourself out right away it works really well but then they come out and you just kill them now you want to go in and collect your uh, drops close the door and go, go if I actually make it through there. Go in, <laughs> and I'm doing real good, and I go in there, and you can collect your drops, and then head back out. Works pretty well. And again, underground access, which we'll get to the tunnels eventually. And over here is <laughs> a movie theater, believe it or not. Uh, that block's not supposed to be there. Uh, stupid Enderman. Anyway, <laughs> the movie theater is also built around computer craft because there's a hidden program in there. If you type in, uh, you go into ROM, Programs, Secret, and then, uh, let's see, Monitor, Top, and I forgot what it's called. Um, no. A long time ago, there is a little... <laughs> it's not the complete episode 4 of Star Wars, uh, but it's a good section, a good portion of the movie, all done with uh, text, you know, ASCII art, which is really cool. And uh, 
I decided to build a little theater around it just for fun you know nothing no real reason but I'm not gonna sit in here and watch the whole thing but you can see there it goes <laughs> no sound of course but hey <laughs> uh, they did a very good job uh, putting this together it looks amazing it, it's really cool and uh, I just thought it was kinda neat to have a theater built around it <laughs> so there you go we'll let that play Star Wars Computer Craft is a great mod if it's something you've never used then uh, it should be something you look into it's really really nice um, so we got all that uh, used to be a cactus farm right here uh, wasn't very effective so I took it down and this is the cobblestone generator which I needed a lot of cobblestone to make into smooth stone to make into stone brick to build this wall so this is actually and as you can see another forge there's the lava uh, I still haven't got all that smooth stone out of there because since I got done with the wall basically it relies on a turtle this is a cobblestone generator there's the lava there's the water it's actually two of them back to back and you place your turtle in there and the turtle sits there and spins around mining each block and until it uh, gets a full inventory then it'll come up out and it'll park itself right about here on one of the four sides you empty it press a key and the turtle will come back up and continue mining and you just rinse and repeat until you have all the cobblestone you needed and uh, the turtle can hold up to nine stacks so you can generate a lot of cobble using a simple generator like that this was the last structure I built uh, pyramid all out of sandstone because it's actually you know it, it goes from extreme hills to prairie uh, to flatlands over there to desert here so there's you know three different biomes all come together in the spot that I decided to build and so I wanted a pyramid however this one I built it's actually digging all the way down I think that's 69 70 levels down to bedrock and basically what I do is I go down uh, every uh, five levels I built a platform and uh, they're all the same they're all I go down here they're all the same as this lit exactly the same with glass and you can go down and you can mine out you know in different directions which the bottom level here is at uh, diamond level so uh, whoop, one more down and as you can see I've started to mine out in a couple different directions so uh, you know off hunting for diamonds found quite a few actually but I wanted something different I just didn't want a regular pyramid so I decided basically to make the pyramid the top of a 21 by 17 hole digging all the way down. Uh, the reason that it's the size the way it is is because I just made it conform to a dip in the land that was here so that I built my wall around. But there you go there's basically an overview of my area. In fact let me real quick the only building that does not have tunnel access is the pyramid because you know, it doesn't need it. It was built after I enclosed the whole area but these are the tunnels these were mined using the turtles uh, from computer craft this used to be the cactus farm I haven't got around to taking that down yet see cobblestone generator skeleton farm you go over here the tree farm which I guess I didn't go to uh, like I said just jungle trees <clears throat> The only thing I have underground right now that's actually doing anything is this heads over to the wheat farm which there's just a simple little wheat farm because I only really use wheat I don't even make that much bread all the bread I have I found in dungeons and stuff I actually use the wheat for breeding my primary food source which is melons and pigs <laughs> so I breed a bunch of pigs and then I slaughter them and you know rinse and repeat 
and uh, there's some pumpkins growing in there, but that's the only thing I really use wheat for. Go down here, this leads back to my house, and here is uh, my sugar cane. Come back up, we're in the farm, go back outside. That area down there is actually for free stuff. Uh, you know, we, like I said, this serves for family and friends, and we share, you know, materials. So when at any time we have, anybody has an excess of materials, we share it. So I just set aside a little section to, uh, these are all from, uh, I have a, a looting two sword that I take to the nether and I, you know, kill the zombie pigmen and they give you some nice gold jobs, but since gold is so weak, I give it all away and people like my daughter use it. And my pig farm. Like I said, th now the pigs, remember I have no doors in here because animals can't climb ladders. Pigs, evidently, they can climb ladders and they do because I had a ladder built over the wall and they were just up and over and, you know, going out. So I had to revert back to a door. <laughs> and I'm not sure if they're supposed to be able to climb ladders or if that's a glitch, but I got sick of all my pigs getting out, so I had to go back to a door. And the, there used to be a big dip here, and I built the land up so I could expand out. And the wall looks uneven in a few spots, two blocks high instead of one. That is to keep the golems from walking out and escaping. Because I, you know, it takes a lot of iron to build a golem, and <laughs> I've built several of them. But as you can see, pretty large area. Let's see if we can see it from. Oops. See if we can. We'll use uh, DT. Uh, let's do DT mount. I'll get up on the dragon here. Oh, it doesn't go high enough. Yeah, there's dragon. A headless dragon. <laughs> Always head is in the ground there. Uh, let's go to the, let's see, DT travel XP farm, and you can see we're going to head off in this direction though, but view, you can see how big the wall is surrounding the whole area. It came out really nice, and you can kind of see how dragon travel works. Usually, the dragon isn't flapping its wings that fast. It's usually much slower. And it's a much smoother, you know, looking ride. But this isn't that bad. It does this a lot. Not sure if it's supposed to or if that's a problem with the mod. But anyway, there you go. It was a quick tour of my area, leaving it in the mist. And in case you're wondering, this is running, yes, in HD with uh, the Mesa's uh, texture pack, which is really nice. And running Optifine. Uh, Computercraft requires Optifine, the HD uh, ability that you get through uh, MC Patcher doesn't work properly. So, uh, flying over another area here, <laughs> all the way to the XP farm. But anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.